start farming your own food. You can do it. You can do it. Start farming your own fucking food. That would be like more like printing your own fucking money. You are now watching Kangaroo Plant Based News, promoting sustainable living while bringing you historical and current events from around the world. Kangaroo Plant Based News. We stay jumping. Hello and welcome back to the channel. So I'm going to share a video clip with you that I thought was very interesting. It was shared with me. Thank you to the person uh, who shared this with me. But this black guy on the screen here uh, with a very sharp tongue, y'all, very sharp. So I must warn you about that. With a very sharp tongue, this man tells black people to stop relying on white people, but do this instead. And so his message resonated with me. I don't know about you, but what he said to me just resonated because I've always felt that if you have to depend on every one of your needs for someone outside of you, then that's a very vulnerable position to be in. Anyway, take a listen at his sharp message and I will be right back. Black people, like I'm talking to the black people. I mean, my people, I mean, the people that with this skin tone, people with the skin like mine, you should stop with the white reliance. Start farming your own food. You can do it. You can do it. Start farming your own fucking food. That would be like more like printing your own fucking money. Start farming your own food. I mean, if you are not black, forget it. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking up to my people. My black people. Start farming your own fucking food. Got it? Get okay, y'all. Well, it can't get any more clear than that. You can't get any more clear than that. His message was very powerful, very strong, and it was very sharp. Okay? Uh, but what he was saying was the truth. You cannot deny that. He was telling the truth that we need to stop our reliance on people outside of us. And he was very specific in saying, look, I'm talking to you black people. Very, very specific in saying this because we as a people do have such a dependent attitude to where uh, we even make excuses for it. We don't even try some of us. Don't even try. But what if you had no other choice but to try? You see, we are headed towards a very, very troubling times. And instead of our people being online, just wasting time doing this, that, and the third all day long, why not get together with a group of people? For those of you who continue to say that you don't have anybody or that you don't have any land, uh, form a group. Be the one to start the change in your community. See if there's a vacant lot that you can purchase for $100. It's tax time, y'all. A lot of cities have vacant lots that they are literally just giving away for pennies on the dollar. So we are without excuse. See if there's a group in your community, even if it's not in, directly in your community. Uh, see if you can travel to a, the city over or something like that. So many options to choose from. I don't know how many times I've talked about uh, the woman whose father bought um, a, a vacant lot in the city of Detroit for $100. And she developed this really awesome, really nice community garden. And it looked beautiful too. Everything that she did on that city lot was just awesome. Awesome. So folk are without excuse. You may not have a choice at some point. That's the point I want to continue to drive on, drive home. A lot of these brothers and sisters that be online just going back and forth bashing one another. What if you put that energy into something else? Now, for those of you who say that that's what I do, I don't bash. I'm telling you what the Bible says. I don't even agree with the, the men being called dusties. And of course, I don't agree with the names that the men are calling the women. 
what I'm trying to do is warn you all to stop this foolishness. Stop this mess. Because this is what brings judgment right to your doorstep. This is why the Most High continues to judge the black community. Instead of us focusing on stuff like what this man is talking about, you got all kinds of other foolishness that you're focusing on. Why not get out and plant some seeds for the brothers who's globe trotting, looking for more women to sleep with? Instead of you hunting down somebody to get in bed with, why don't you hunt down some land and grow some food? And like this brother said, stop being reliant on white folk. They getting out here doing their thing. Many of them are growing their food, going off grid, doing this, doing that. We've got to do better, family. We've got to do more. We've got to stop wasting our time on foolishness. We've got to repent. And those of us who have platforms such as this, We've got to continue to cry aloud and spare not and lift up our voices like trumpets in Zion and show our people their transgressions. If you are not actively doing something to fortify your future, then you are a part of your own problem. There is so much that can be done, so much that needs to be done. But first, you got to get your head out of the sand. And stop traipsing around in la la land. There are so many, so many more important things that we need to be doing instead of wasting our time. We need to get ourselves together because things are falling fast in this world economy. I'm not saying this to make you afraid, but I'm saying this because we need to warn one another. We need to understand what we are facing, what the world is facing, what is coming, what was prophesied. As I look at that field of cabbage that this brother has grown, I sit there and I say, wow. If we had more brothers focusing on stuff like this, instead of all this other nonsense, so busy telling the daughters of Zion what they need to be doing and ain't even doing what they're supposed to be doing. That's the thing that trips me out. A whole lot to say to the women about what they are or are not doing but not enough to the brothers to say to them, hey, brothers, we need to get together and buy some land. We need to get together and grow some food for our communities. Because you know the white man show sure is growing food for his community. And we need to do the same for ours. Working together, hand in hand, men and women together. Not the man... Yeah sitting around and the women are not doing any and what the women are doing all the work and the men are not doing anything not that but everybody coming together doing what it is they must do to fortify the black community that is what we need to be focusing on i'm going to play this brother's video for you again one more time listen at his sharp words because they definitely resonated with me wrong one family black there you people. go like i'm talking to the black people I mean, my people, I mean, the people that with this skin tone, people with the skin like mine, you should stop with the white reliance. Start farming your own food. You can do it. You can do it. Start farming your own fucking food. That will be like more like printing your own fucking money. Start farming your own food. I mean, if you are not black, forget it. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking up to my people. My black people. Start farming your own fucking food. Got it? Okay, now if you can't take heed to that, I don't know. I don't even know what to say. But anyway, um, I appreciate this brother for doing this video. And I hope a lot of people are listening and, and doing exactly what it is he is saying we need to do. Let's grow some food. Okay, family, I'm out.
Today's episode of Kangaroo Plant-Based News is sponsored by Exotic Vegan. Exotic Vegan, novelties and gifts, plant-based inspiration. Nature is never boring. We bring art, education, and nutrition together for a healthy way of living and thinking. Grocery, apparel, accessories, and home decor. Please visit our website, exoticveganshop.com, today. Always more to explore.